Hey guys, welcome back to this session and in this session we will talk about vSAM. So let's get started. So the term vSAM stands for Virtual Storage Access Method. It's a file storage access method used in ZOS operating system. vSAM was introduced by IBM in 1970s and it's a high performance access method to organize data as files in mainframe. And the important point is that the term vSAM applies to both a dataset type and the access method used to manage various user data types. And on top of that, as an access method, vSAM provide more complex functions. And the last important point is that vSAM keep disk record in a unique format that cannot be understandable by any other access method, right? So you cannot directly go and display anything which is stored in vSAM dataset with the help of an ISPF. So you have to use a specific tool, for example, FileAid or File Manager to view the content of a vSAM dataset. Now let's talk about the benefits or salient feature of vSAM. So before the introduction of vSAM in 1970, you only have sequential file for storing and accessing data. And reading data from sequential file is always a problem. In case if you want to access any record randomly, then you have to read all the records which is there before that particular record that you want to access. So vSAM solves a lot of problems related to the data, the way it is being stored, the way it is being accessed from the file. So first and foremost benefit of vSAM is retrieval of record is faster and it is possible because of an index file. The next important feature is record can be accessed sequentially or randomly. Third important feature is vSAM datasets are device independent. And the last one is vSAM datasets can be shared across region, partition, address space and systems. And the icing on the cake is that you have an IDCAM utility that can be used to manage or maintain the vSAM dataset. So till now, if you have any question, then do let me know. Otherwise, let's move on to our next lecture.